Develop interactive paper, so making paper you can touch that plays sounds or connects to the internet. What we do is we we embed conventional electronics in very discreetly in everyday objects, so posters, books, packaging, um, so that they can connect with like iPhones and iPads. Um, usually at the moment through through low power Bluetooth, so you can touch a poster or touch a book, and it will instantly connect to the internet that's in your pocket. I guess because I kept having ideas that people didn't like because they kind of disturbed the way things were supposed to be done. So, you know, um, people are trying to do things in a certain way and then I'm always saying, oh, but we could do this and it'd be better or we could do this and it'd be different. And they didn't like it and so um, I wasn't very happy. So I knew that even if it meant being on my own and very poor, it was better to dedicate my life to pursuing my own vision and my own path. It's crazy. <laughs> It's been lots and lots of fun. It's just, it's so massive. There's so many people doing so many different things and everyone's running around being crazy and everyone seems very happy and inspired. So I've really, really enjoyed it. We're very, very lucky if we find our vision, we find our passion and so many people don't. If you like have an idea, or if you have a vision or a passion for something, the best thing to do is just pursue that regardless, I would say, of the consequences. Pursue your vision. So many people in the world don't find their thing and don't find their vision. And if you can just find the means to pursue your vision, then you are incredibly lucky. And if you can dedicate your life to doing that, even if it never makes you rich and famous, if you spend your life pursuing your vision, then that's a very happy life. So I'd just like to say hi to all the students. Um, everyone's been so amazing. I've had a great time. Thanks.